just 23 hours, 32 minutes and 14 seconds away from crowning your celebrity Big Brother champion. I'm kind of excited and sad at the same time. Excited and sad? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. It's a bit like that. Uh, there's a couple of people up the stairs. We'll talk about them in a minute, though. Uh, now, we might be nearing the end of the series, but that does not mean that we are scrimping on talent. The celebrity producer still had a pound note left in their back pocket. So they have gone all out for you this evening. First up, a lady who knows exactly what it takes to win Celebrity Big Brother, because that's exactly what she did 12 months ago. It's all round Geordie Lash, Charlotte Crosby. Yeah! people that you'll already be pretty familiar with. They've been keeping us entertained for the past 23 days, but for the last 24 hours, they had to entertain themselves. We got two for the price of one. It's the Victies, Ricky and Lauren. Yeah! And finally, they have done X Factor. They have done Eurovision. Tonight, they are doing bots. <laughs> they are Celebrity Big Brother's very own Chuckle Brothers and have inspired my hair tonight. <laughs> it's Jedward! <laughs> tonight's show but before we do that we must ask Ricky what have your first 24 hours been like out of the house um good up to see Jay and a few of the lads and we got a bit more last night do you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> um, you yeah, got so a bit more last night yeah and carried on to the early hours <laughs> of all day nearly <laughs> <laughs> living up to that journey reputation exactly. uh, Lauren how was the night for you yes it's strange kind of coming out the house <laughs> and seeing people no um, <laughs> but it's been a busy day. I've had a work day today, so I've been very busy. Yeah. So I've, I've stayed off the drink today. Woo! Yeah. I've also had a work day. Um, now, <laughs> obviously, last night, it comes, interview felt a little bit uncomfortable um, yeah. between the two of you. Did you manage to chat last night? Yeah, definitely. Sort out your differences? There wasn't any differences at all. I think it was it, with a double interview, it's quite difficult to. Ricky, what's that little. No, no, no. <laughs> so put me on the spot. Um, <laughs> no, no, we we spoke last night, and yeah. I think obviously we'll speak again properly when obviously when there's no drink involved. But um, um... everything's okay <laughs> between the two of you. Yeah, yeah. made up. Good. Happy. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Well then, let's talk about the show we just watched. Uh, we saw the housemates take part in Big Brother's panel show. Oh my goodness, that was a whole lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Fun for us watching like this. Oh, no! Not so much fun for those involved. Thankfully, we have a couple of them here with us tonight, so we can talk about it. Uh, Charlotte, do you think they could have taken the game any more seriously? Like, for a second, I thought I wasn't watching Big Brother anymore. It was like the Hunger Games. Oh, it was like every man for themselves. I felt like if there was weapons involved, someone would have been dead. Like, it was really bad. Like, it I was... can't believe how serious they take it. Like, I, when I was in Big Brother, everyone had a laugh and we just went with it. Whereas this one, when you watch it, you can see it's a competition, you can see it's a game, because yeah. everyone talks about that so much. Yeah, yeah there, there is a lot of competition in there. There's been lots of arguments as well, yeah. which there was kind of bickering in your year, but they, they, yeah. they, it wasn't continuously kind of like yeah. it has been this series. Um, now, the nominations round was uh, pretty revealing. Uh, Lauren, what did you think of James' reason for, for nominating you? Um, right, James. <laughs> I've learned a lot being outside the house in the last 24 hours and stuff, and exactly what I thought of him has just been proved right. I don't dislike James, but he's, he, watching that, he makes me laugh. But he does say to me, you're popular, you're competition, I'm going to stir it up. And I just feel like, OK. 
okay, how do I take that? But that is James Wyver. I think sometimes he says things and I'm so honest, I'm this, I'm that, but he doesn't actually believe it. I think he's just playing a massive game. Yeah. 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 Um, let's move on to Jedward. Um, <laughs> You have been in the final week. What is it like in there well, um, during that time? Yeah, the final week in Big Brother is crazy because everybody wants to win. Everybody's been all, already in there for like two weeks. So it's like you don't want to forget anything because you've been in the house for so long. It's like being in a hotel yeah. room. You you're trying to cherish stuff. every single moment. You're trying to take it all in, going, This is my last week. And like everybody inside. It's like, can I take this toaster with me? Like, what can I do <laughs> to make such an impact that I could win the show? Or, yeah, it's it, everyone kind of, I don't know, you appreciate it a lot more in the last week because you've already been there. And you take some things for granted. But then the last week, you're like, all right, there's one week left. Here we go. Let's do it. Do you know what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> For the first time ever, you exactly knew what you were talking about, and I understood it all. <laughs> <laughs> Jedward have grown up! Yeah! I think we grew up about like, five years so ago. I proud! <laughs> um, now, the quick buy round got pretty heated, especially between D and Audley. Um, Charlotte, who do you think was in the right? I don't think anyone was in the right and anyone was in the wrong. I really loved both of them. Like, yeah. I would want either of them to win. And I think Dee maybe, yeah, sometimes be nasty to Gary, but I feel like anyone in, who was living with him might sometimes feel the need to snap because you've only got, like, so much you can take mm. before you get angry. I can totally yeah. see where you were coming from. But then I think, oddly, for nominating D, at the end, you have to scrimp and scrape, don't you, to find <laughs> reasons for people. And that's just probably what he was doing. Mm. Yeah. I think, you know, as, as James said, Amen. Everybody in there thinks the same thing. I know Audley kind of thinks slightly differently, but not all of the housemates can be wrong. We obviously watch that hour, and he's very entertaining. But to live with, yeah. he, it obviously gets quite a bit at times. I don't think I could deal with it. <laughs> but for us, how amazing has he been? I mean, he's been fascinating. <laughs> Going away from Gary a minute and back to these two, Dean Audley, what did you all think about that situation? Audley was in the right place. Yeah! yeah. Dee doesn't listen to understand. Yeah. Dee doesn't yeah. listen to understand. No. She listens to respond <laughs> and she responds in a negative, derogatory way. And James is following suit. I mean, let's be real, you've got three celebrities in there. Yeah, Dee's not one of them. So at the end of the day, Adele, Adele, Audley and Gary, final three. Hopefully a delta win. No! Because you have your hand up so lovely. <laughs> I think oddly has a bit of compassionate bone in his body. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he tries to understand Gary. He, do he does. He's quite rational yeah. in his yeah. thinking with yeah. everything, really, not just with Gary. Yeah. 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 So what I think is he tends to sort of go off the handle at Gary. She and, and, <laughs> and she, she doesn't realise. Well, she does realise that she's doing it. What you need to remember is Gary has came from America. He doesn't realise, or well, he's came here trying to figure out all the different accents mm. yeah. of plus the with group. His, plus you know, with his, yeah. with his plus with his brain well. injury and he's, he's also oh. deaf. It's a bit hard. Yeah. You well, know? I can imagine. You know, well, I can't imagine actually because. I'm not in this situation. Uh, should we have a look at what's been happening this morning? Yeah! yeah. Here we go. You two look like you're really passionate. What? You two look like you're really passionate. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what does passion out mean? We've had sex four times. We just don't take that long and we don't make that much noise. <laughs> you weren't dreaming, weren't you? We keep you conservative. <laughs> <laughs> sex shouldn't be for fun. <laughs> Um, right, still to come, 
I'm going to be taking your calls in the phone room with Lauren and Jedward. Woo! Everybody gets excited. Woo! Hopefully, nothing will go wrong. Uh, now, Rick and Lauren, it has been a tote emotion end to tonight's show. All the finalists were celebrating you guys. Obviously not there, you poor things. But look, we love you. We're here for you. Let's have a little group hug. I hear you. I love you. You're safe. Thanks, Goosey. Um, OK. It's time now for the final time this series to welcome the wonderful Diane Uday. <laughs> so, uh, you are a life coach extraordinaire. I feel like I'm stuck in my cables tonight. Do <gasps> you want uh, any help over no, there? <laughs> um, the celebrities are coming out in the yeah. next 24 hours. Uh, so... We want to know what the future holds for them and if you could sit down with them, what you would advise them to do as a life coach. Right, if they were sat there right now, yeah. of course. Like, then we just clarify, coaching is very much about your professional life and your career for the now, for the future, whereas yeah. psychotherapy, which is also what I do, is about the deep stuff, the stuff that hurts. But with Gary, if we start with so him with coaching, with life coaching, we're going right. with the coaching, absolutely. Now, Gary, his USP may have been everything that he's been doing in there to irritate everybody else. We don't know, because he's so gifted as an actor, whether he's used some of those inflections and things that he does as a way of just creating a little bit like these little bombs he's dropping by being unclean or whatever that's by the by coaching wise I'd just say to him if Arnie and Clint can squeeze a couple of films out in their eighth decade why can't our Gary can you imagine come on Hollywood give him the call because at his level you don't go for script read throughs you don't go for test down the camera they just give you the call yeah. and it would just be so lovely for if we see in the next 10 years him in a really good blockbuster yeah. he's like he was just down the road he's our Gary from Boreham Wood it'd be brilliant <laughs> Maybe, um, maybe the next Expendables movie. Yeah. They're all in that, aren't they? All those, they are. all those... We'll wheel them out. Hollywood <laughs> men. Exactly. Um, OK, Audley, let's move on to him. Out of... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> out of everybody in the house, Audley would be the least needing life coaching. Um, he's got his personal life potted off quite yeah. nicely, we know that. So then you'd look at his career. But he's an athlete for the last 20, 30 years who'd have woke up every day with sports therapy, sports coaching, where NLP and coaching is very much Dedication, part of... Dedication, determination, focus. Absolutely. But the one little gem he did help us see as an insight into the world of fighting is a lot of it's down to promoters and managers and agents, hence his conversation with Kelly. So as brilliant as he may be or become even more as a fighter, which is very, very coachy to say... We don't know how his success will pan out, and he knows it because it's down to the other people, the politics within the industry as well. It's part of this industry too. Yeah. Many industries are the same, yeah. so we have to put that with a little pinch of salt. OK. Um, what about Edel? Edel's been very brave. We know this. Um, sometimes people like to go very public when big transitions are happening in yeah. their life because, oddly enough, it supports them. In terms of... She's like Tiger yeah, Mum. Sometimes it's just nice to have a different change of scenery yeah, or, or just to do something totally different to what you normally would have done. And I think she's done that, but also if the, the, the transition in her life is happening as she's spelling out, she will need to be making a bed for her babies. So mm. it's like tiger mum in reverse. It's not about the children, it's about her creating that safety for them. Her home life is where you can spring from every single day where you're safe, secure, protected and refreshed to create that safety for your children. She has the talent and grit because she's worked hard within the industry within her talents uh, frame to be good enough to do a lot more in the industry and she knows that and that's why she's gone in and why Dee was so surprised during that conversation yeah. uh, about the kind of the it wasn't scheming at all that's her industry this is what she does and this is how she knows she can regain profile and she's done so well um, <laughs> what would you say to James <laughs> 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 It's like panto, isn't it? He needs a big sequin uh, wooden spoon at the moment. He 
uh, having said all of that, in terms of coaching, again, personal life potted off, great person to work with. He is very interesting because he has a brilliant mind. He's gone in there with a game plan. He's gone in to create tension wherever he can because he's good at it. He would need to learn more humility. He showed it yes. briefly with Lauren, um, but a lot more would be needed. That's the only negative or unresourceful behaviour that I've seen him we use in there. We did see that soft side to him as well. Absolutely. When he, when he had the letters from home. Yeah, yeah. And I have to say, oh, I always cry at letters from home. Yes. And this time, the only person I cried at was James. Absolutely. Because you have that really hard exterior and the defensive person. Yeah. And then you just see that softness yes. come from him and that thing yeah. that he loves and that gets to him. And it just... It just, you and know, it you was see really that moving. other thing that you haven't seen before. Because we know a little bit about, we've seen Ola for a number of years, and we've actually developed some sort of relationship with the pair of them inadvertently as well. But, you know, he is good at punditry. Again, coaching skills moving forwards. He's good on shows what, about entertainment mm. or news or even hard politics because he reads across the subjects. He uses yeah. his brain brilliantly. So he may be another Pax man in sequins. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'd like to see in yeah. sequins. Um, how about George? George, uh, I can put to that. George and Dee moving forwards again together because they've come from the new breed of real, as in documentary, real new stars that we're, we're giving celebrated status, which is where the term celebrity comes from. Now, what does it say about us and, as an audience and the facility that Big Brother provides for these people to become our new celebrities? Well, it says a great deal. Dee could remain as she is, do the makeovers and all those other things which she'll probably enjoy, but at the same time go, oh, I just like being myself, which is mm. what we love about her. But also another one with a really good social voice. If I was coaching yeah. her, I'd say, listen, go for the programmes whereby you can go on some of the harder news or, uh, you know, uh, social affairs programmes because we'll listen to your voice. Yeah. We're already there already. Yeah. And George, Giza TV, <laughs> beckons. Uh, he loves his clothes. He's got the voice of a whole group of men of his own age. And he's, he's been unaffected by what's in there and he's enjoyed the process. And he does, as Kelly said when she came out, he does wonderful one-liners. We've been all cracking up in there at some of the things that mm. are going on just today until tomorrow, still within the house. So I think George has got a long way to go with this and within the world. But also, he's like Craig Phillips from the first series. He maintained his real job, yeah. his down-to-earth job. And if he does the two, then he's a real winner in some way. Um, listen, tomorrow night, it's the final. Yeah. And somebody is going to be crowned winner. OK. Who do you think deserves it? Well, normally in my role, I don't kind of say because I like to keep very balanced and even, but I've already just ever best about George. I'll take the fence from my ass. sorry. And um, <laughs> I, will, <laughs> I will say, if you want old-fashioned glamour and old Hollywood talent, your real old-fashioned celebrity is, of course, Gary. Um, yeah! Yeah! But I think George could take it. Yeah! Yeah! For the final time this series, thank you so much. Thank Diane, you down, everybody. <laughs> so, that's who Diane thinks is going to win. But let's find out who Lauren Harris predicts. Remember, she um, guessed... <laughs> sorry, predicted Helen would win in the last series. Uh, but she did get all of the others wrong. Hello and welcome to my psychic flat. As I predicted, Helen, the winner of 2014, the civilian Big Brother, I'm here to tell you who is going to win Celebrity Big Brother. Now I'm going to do a psychic reading with my tea leaves. But first, I have to finish the tea. <laughs> Even psychics have to have tea breaks, you know. Oh, the tea leaves. They're telling me the first one to go will be Adele, the most hated person. Oh, it's going to be the... Oh, Gary, who will I be? Sex texting after the show. It's going to be James. A nice little bit of muscle. These tea leaves have now are now of no use to me. So I'm now going to use my love crystal. Shiny, shiny crystals. 
Who wants the crystals? <sighs> will Lauren and Ricky hook up in the house? They will, the dirty buggers. Gary, Fenshi and David. <gasps> they will be the first to have a threesome. Will Gary hook up with anyone in the Big Brother house? No. God, low batteries. I must remember to get more. And my last prediction I'm going to use <gasps> self hypnosis. Sleep. First, second, third, tell me, tell me. Third place will be Kelly. Second place will be Danny. D. I meant D. Why did you get it wrong, hypnosis? Snap out of it. They get it wrong sometimes. <sighs> First place will be George. So we are back in the phone room and look who I've got manning the telephones this evening. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank if you'd have cut to us a couple of seconds earlier, it was a mannequin here because none of us knew what we were doing. Uh, anyway, we do now. Lauren, who's on line one? I have Frenchie on line one. Frenchie! <laughs> I have Britney Hold on. Spears. Hold oh, no, Frenchie. Frenchie, how are you? Hi, bitches. I'm good. Oh, good. Um, listen, Frenchie, who would you like to see win tomorrow night? I would love Gary to win because I think it's crazy and funny and amazing and fascinating. And I love him. So I'm Team Gary. Team Gary. Uh, French, you're going to be back here tomorrow, Team aren't you? Team Gary, bitches. <laughs> what? You're going to be back here tomorrow, aren't you? The limo's on the I'm way. I'll be here tomorrow to support Gary, yeah. I want to know what you're going to be wearing. Pink. I'm going to be wearing a pink dress <laughs> and a pink bikini, <laughs> and it would be sexy, I and mean, it would be plastic fantastic and pink and sexy and Bobby Matia, bitches. <laughs> okay, Frenchie, I love you. Bye. Au revoir. I love you more. We love you yeah, more. Bye. <laughs> Stop pressing buttons on Frenchie, someone. Uh, John, who you got on, on your line? I got McFly. McFly did. I got them all here. Hey, guys, what's going on? <laughs> oh, no, seriously, just kidding. Was, yeah, I'm actually talking to Claire. Claire, what's going on, Claire? Woo! <laughs> Claire, are you there? Claire, are you there? Because I'm ready to talk to you. <laughs> Claire? Hey, Claire, it's John. What's the oh, story? She's not there. Oh. Who have we got on line three? Yo, 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 what's up, David? <laughs> what's going on, Jed? What are you good? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Are you excited about the final tomorrow? I'm extremely excited. I'm How excited are you on a scale of one to ten? I'm talking about 20. I'm going for a serious 20 yeah. there. Yeah, wow. okay. amazing. How'd you get the phone number? <laughs> what? You just got it. Speed dial. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Uh, David, are you still there? Yes, I'm still oh, yeah. here. I'm Who still do here. you want to see win tomorrow? I want the most elegant, sexy, and sophisticated housemate to win, yeah. and that is Dee, Birmingham's finest. Yeah, I love her. She's really? Tell us why, Dee. Those why? curves, Because you know what? She's real. No games about her. She's not acting up for the camera. She's just got, being she's real. And that's what, that's what I think the public yeah. love, and that's what I certainly love. So come on, Dee. Do it for Birmingham. Do it for Yes. England. Good job, Dee. Okay. Good choice. David, thank you so much. Thank you. Peace out, Birmingham. Bye. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye bye. bye bye. Wow, that went smoothly, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Really that well. was seamless. Oh, that was. What happened with my caller? <laughs> who, 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 who predicted that something might go wrong with Jedward in here? Nothing. Hey? Never. Hey. It wasn't Never. my fault. It was the phone's fault. Well, no, they have been very well behaved. Uh, but that. You guys get new phones. We do, don't we? Yeah. Like we've been our best behaviour just well. for you, Emma. I know you've been very good. Uh, right, tomorrow sees the final six whittled down to one. Who wins? You decide at home. Get your votes in now. Vote! Gary! Oh, Gary, yeah. This week, Audley, Dee, Idel, Gary, George and James all face the public vote. Who wins? You decide. From a landline, call 090 204458 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. <laughs> Just like Gary, rude. 
And by that, we mean raucous, unruly, disorderly, and extremely entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. We've had a great summer, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. A great summer. Here's an exclusive. When I was a little boy, about seven or eight, we were in a restaurant. My family were on a vacation. And my father killed a fly. And I cried about that, the death of that fly for five hours. Five hours? Yeah, I just, that little fly was my friend. And he'd come land and look around, look at me, and we were having fun together. And when Dad, Dad took a newspaper and rolled it up and went, wham, on the wall. The fly was stuck on the wall. He was a dead fly. But it shows you the emotions that we really own, even when we're 70 years old, can go back to when we're eight or nine and feel that same emotion. Oh. Yeah. That's, well, that's Your dad crazy. killed your mate? Huh? Your dad killed your friend? Did he know he was your friend? Was he no. a trained fly? No. Was he what? Was he house trained or? <laughs> no, they're in a restaurant. They're in a restaurant. Oh. He was uh, probably on the staff there at the restaurant. Yeah. You know, had a little hat on. <laughs> Food tester. Hospitality. Yeah, hospitality fly. <laughs> <laughs> I could listen to his stories all day. Yeah! Even the ones about flies. Yeah. <laughs> all the time. Uh, now, it has been, as we've just said, one hell of a series, but tomorrow night it all comes to an end. Which... Aww. I could cry. Aww. Honestly. Aww. I get totes and moans. Um... We'll be back, I think. Yeah! I think we'll be back. Uh, I hope we'll be back. Uh, but the question everybody's asking is who is going to win? So, as ever, in the interest of fairness, we'll spend about 45 seconds on each housemate until we hear this noise. <coughs> then time's up, and we'll start with the next one. So, let's start off with Audley. Um, <coughs> Grace is a fan. Um, yeah! So, he's had to fight a few battles in the house to get to the final. Uh, Ricky, do you think he's fought hard enough to win? He's, obviously, he stepped up his game playing. Um, obviously, I think, obviously, he cooks a lot around the house, and I think he, said he wasn't really doing much the other day. So, I think he copied James and the bit like, oh, I need to get a bit of screen time, I need to get a bit of, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do, 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 do something during the day. Don't get me wrong, I think he's a lovely bloke in that, yeah. but I think now it's getting near the final, people are starting to set up the games, and I think that's what he's done. He's a sportsman, though, isn't he? Yeah! If he's in a game, he's going to want to win it, isn't he? Uh, Charlotte, do you think he's a worthy winner? I like Audley. Yeah! I really like him. I don't, I don't think he's game-playing just because he kooks. Yeah! Like, I, I, think, I think he is a worthy winner. Yeah? yeah! What are you...? Yeah! All right, oh! we're going to... You, you've hardly said anything tonight. No! I know, I'm going to get to you, I'm going to get to you. Uh, right, next up, it's D. Uh, so, will Deirdre the Duchess be crowned D the Queen tomorrow night? Oh, no. Barbara? I don't like her. So, don't you think no? Oh, is that it? Well, I like D as well. She's just come from nowhere. There's other people that are more. So, you don't of think it. that she deserves to win? Does no, anybody I think don't. D does deserve to win? No, I don't. No. I think she makes a lot of tea for people. <laughs> everybody everybody says she's not a celebrity, but whoever goes on television is a celebrity. Yeah. Nowadays, she has earned her right to be on there. <laughs> the same as us. Have you ever been in the street and someone says, I saw you on telly? You know, she's well, earned she's her right nice to be woman. there and she's yeah. doing a great job. John and Edwards! Yeah. Oh. 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 I'm going to come to you now. Uh, let's talk, uh, funnily enough, Edel. Yeah. Yeah. To housemates, but boys, can she win it? She can win it. Like she's all the people are voting for her. They're like on the phones 24/7. Like, I just yeah. hope Niall puts out a tweet and goes, "Vote for the Irish." Blah, 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 blah. He always does that. But uh, yeah, no, no, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think Adele. She's in Bewitched. I had her CD. So great. Yeah. <laughs> but do you know? Do you know her? Yeah, we met her a week before she went. Into I think the she house. wanted to tell us she was going into the house, but she never got the she opportunity. She's kind of looking at us like this. She's kind of like. I think she was trying to give us signals that she was going into the house. We just didn't take those signals. <laughs> but, but anyway, yeah, it'd be great. I, I thought she was... I didn't pick up those signals of going to the brother house, but I thought it was something else. <laughs> uh, then, then, then I realised she She has married. been one of the quieter oh, housemates, yeah. but the last week we have seen... <laughs> uh, OK, moving on to Mr Gary Busey. <laughs> American standing. He's a rock star. Charlotte, could he be the first American to ever win Celebrity Big Brother? No. I think yes. Charlotte. I think he probably could be the way everyone's screaming for him, but I'm not really don't want him to win. I'm not that bothered. 
if he Boy. says if he says he's going to buy a house in the UK and he can stay here forever, then I think he might win because then the public are like, yes, he's going to stay in the UK forever. He could be best friends with Tara Reid, so he could be best friends with Tara Reid. Lauren, what do you think? Does Gary stand a chance? Hundred percent. He's been saying it from day one. He's here to the end, and do you know what? I know Gary's hard work, but oh, for me, he makes me laugh, yeah. and I'm he, I'm intrigued by things he has to say. And he's a legend, so and he's an, he's seventy yeah. he's seventy years old. Yeah. I had a really good question for Lauren. Then you've just buzzed me. Got okay. a good smile. Gary, bitches. <laughs> 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 Frenchie's joined us this evening. George, he's held his own against some of the bigger characters in the house. Uh, Lauren, do you think George could go all the way tomorrow? Yeah! Definitely. He's a character. He's a proper deep Essex boy. He's chat the lads. He's funny. He's real. And he's just... I love him, and I'd love him to be there the whole time. Yeah! I was going to say, who wants George to win? George has got a very good chance, I think, from the clip you showed before. He's already had his prize anyway. And uh, but I think Gary might I think just George's make it. an all-round nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. George. He's a minute. George can't win it. He's playing yes. the women. Yeah. And I think oh! that that might let him down. Oh! I think that might let him down. Everybody, the Brad Pitt of Ballroom. <laughs> hold on, hold on. He did say it. He did say it. Uh, we clarified his every night. He did say it. Um, okay, so he is used to top marks on the dance floor. What does he get from you, boys? He gets a seven. <laughs> You actually get to upside um, down seven. Uh, we, we've we've seen him say. An L, an L for it. We've seen him say. We've seen him say. We've Continue, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen him say in tonight's show that he doesn't care what the public thinks. Lauren, do you think he does? Yes. Hundred percent. He's he. Things with James, deep down, I've spoke to him loads of times. I know he's playing a game, but he isn't a bad guy. He's very, very sensitive and very insecure. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> a li one little bit of positivity for James. He's Ricky. hilarious. He's yeah. funny. He's, he's hilarious. funny. Hilarious. I've got to say, so funny. one of dance. the best housemates yeah. ever. Yeah. Uh, very quickly, yeah, who should win? Uh, Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Oddly, yeah. Oh, George. Yeah. 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 Dear James. Tara. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so one of them will win tomorrow, but more importantly, it's time to find out who has won Sorry, this week's Throwback Thursday. Take a look at this. Sorry. Yeah, we didn't get to chat last night. I no, I never want to talk. Like, I didn't. Yeah, I mean, I just thought better I just leave it. Yeah, you know no, I mean? and I, I respect that because obviously you started the Audrey thing because remember from the, uh, years ago. Right, right, right. But, so yeah. I others don't know, so people think, oh, it's a joke, he's OK with. And I'm OK with it, yeah. till a point. Then I yeah. said, and I said to George, George, look, you need to cut it out now. And he said, yeah, I've got it. You know what I mean? And you were there as well when I yeah. said it. So I said, you know, that's enough now. And then when yeah. you look brought it up again and you look what's going on, I was like, I we, we, we put that aside. Listen, I have utmost respect for you, yeah. and I wish you all the best in your career. Yeah, and I yeah. think you, you're mentally, you're going to come back and do something yeah. good. And I would never, ever purposely... Yeah. I, I like to jest, I like course, to joke, course. and I promise you, I didn't yeah. mean it in a malicious way at yeah, all. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it, again, it's just a miscommunication problem. Yeah. I promise you, don't take it personally, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother's Bit on the side. I feel, I feel a goosey flyby coming on. It's freedom! Uh, here is the very last news of the season. Oh! At 1.36 this afternoon, all the housemates gathered in the diary room to talk to the people they love best, the box viewers. 
Gary. Yes. You know that team stands for together, everyone achieves more. Yeah. <laughs> but can you tell us what you think bots stands for? Bring on the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow night, you will find out what's been happening in the outside world <gasps> over the past four weeks. Listen, listen. But which one piece of information are you desperate to find out? Football scores, Caitlin's GCSE results. <laughs> I want to know is who am I going to be fighting when I get out? Yo, champ, oh. you're fighting me next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll answer you. A force question. versus D force. I want to know who's number one in the music charts. Yeah. 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 No, I do. I want to know if he really loves me. I want to know if he's very happy. Don't know the words. Don't, don't say you guys don't say he, say she. I want to know um, who my wife's dancing with on Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah, I want to ah. know that. Tomorrow Night's Bots is an old school Hollywood musical extravaganza. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. Hey, buddy Holly, right here. Uh huh. Please make sure you're all wearing your glad rags. The word glad rags is taken many ways in America. <laughs> Please explain more, Gary. Glad rags is something you wear for. Uh, feminine hygiene. We call them a different type of rag, but I know. Uh, Glad yeah. rags is also a term in America for the 20s, for the flappers of Charleston and the... Uh, Charleston. Oh, the Charleston. All sorted for you. Have it. Inside. Hey, bit on the side. It's been great entertaining you. Hope you had fun. Bit on the side. I hope you've enjoyed me winding up the house. Some people bite a lot more than others. Um, but hey, I'm still here and I'm still winding them up. Oh. Yo, but I used to be one of you. I'm going to be one of you again. I love you all to bits. Can't wait. Ryland, hope you're still looking sexy. <gasps> The butt. <laughs> on the butt. Oh, I was like, on the butt. Butts roll. Butts roll. Wow. Butts. It's butts, no, not butts. <laughs> butts. On the butts. You know Rylan. Rylan. Yeah. You interviewed us. Oh my gosh, I don't know him yet, but maybe I do in past life. You've met yeah. him. You've met him. Oh. Okay. Good. I know him. B B butts. 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 Can you let me out? Brother, it's bad enough in that big open space Please. out there, let alone in here. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> you're really saying, aren't Love you? Love you, B-Bots! boys. Well, Hello, Emma. Up. We're reporting live from the control room. Can I get a yeah? Yeah! yeah. Woo. Can I get a hell yeah? Okay. Boys, do you know what? Anyway, they never talk normally. You've these got people them to are talk. working. Anyway, they actually are working. Anyway, yeah, they've got their serious face we've on. We've got the news. As you can see, there's a lot of activity going on in the house. How it's made have been getting creative to pass the time. James wrapped Adele in cling film, and she returned the favor and wrapped him in cling film in case he went off. And guess what, Emma? You what? know Gary? Yeah. He's been teaching Dee and James how to goose honk. They've been honking and goose honking like crazy, can like you... honk, honk. <laughs> They're like, ah. Okay. Boys, can you honk? Um, uh, that was my attempt to honk. And I'm, <laughs> John, like, I don't think mean that's like honking. <laughs> <laughs> or like, what's, I don't know how to goose honk. What sound is a, I know quack quack, you know, a duck. But yeah. what, what sound does a geese make? I don't know, John. Meow? No one even knows. Okay, John, this isn't a farm program, okay? Housemates also had their own pool party this afternoon and oddly completed the famous Dirty Dancing Lift. No. And guess what, Emma? What? You know what? No, something John, lift me up. Okay, go. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, go on, go. do it. Go on. <laughs> okay. And some exclusive out. behind the scenes news. George and Adele have been snuggling on the couch. Oh, Adele, I love you. Let me see your lucky charms. Oh, no, not me lucky charms, George. Oh, Adele, Adele. Oh, here's one lucky charm, here's two lucky charms. Here's me pot of gold. Okay, I don't want to talk about That's it, boys. We're no. going to end it right there. There's so much more news. We've got it's so okay. much more news. Just keep watching for us. Keep watching. All okay. right. Thank Bye. you, guys. It's been January. <laughs> Okay, now over the years, 
Celebrity Big Brother has given us some amazing celebrity champions. So, shall we take a little wonder yes. down Channel 5's Hall of Fame? Celebrity Big Brother House, this is Emma. The viewers have spoken. Your fate is sealed. And the winner of Celebrity Big Brother is... Paddy! Yeah. Should have been Spidey. Yeah! Uh, okay, so that's our money joke in Ryland. Uh, so that's our previous winners, but who will be added to that Hall of Fame tomorrow? That, my friends, is entirely down to you. Who wins? You decide! This week, Audley, Dee, Idel, Gary, George, and James all face the public vote. Who wins? You decide. From a landline, call 090 204458 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. From a mobile, call 65058 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. For Audley, add 01. For D, add 04. For Adele, add 05. For Gary, add 07. For George, add 08. For James, add 09. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 50 pence. Other landlines may vary. Or you can vote via the Big Brother app, where two votes will cost you 99 pence. Voting closes in Friday's live final. Votes cast after the lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. OK, it's time to get digital. Ian, Hello what's there. happening on that there web? Well, um, head over to the poll section on our app uh, because we've got a poll there for you to vote for your favourite moment of the series, OK? Mm -hmm. So that wraps things up nicely. Um, and we've got some tweets on who should win and okay. why. OK, yeah. Um, so... Banters says Audley because he's true to himself and isn't playing any games. Okay. Yay! Yeah, cheers. Um, shame reaction. D is my winner. The Duchess of Solihull task, task made her a CBD legend. Yeah. Seems to be some changed opinions yeah. since, since the old days there. Um, Becky Cave says um, has to be Adele. She's wonderful, yeah! kind, and a superstar and an inspiration. Mm hmm. Powerful wording there. Um, Maggie O'Turbert says, Gary to win. He's been at the centre of everything worth talking about on We're the show. Short. How boring would it have been without him? And Mo Berger says, George Swin, he's an, an ordinary bloke who's funny and caring. Ian, thank you very much. Before we go, we have to send love and thanks to Richard Smith, our executive producer and my best friend. Thank you for the most wonderful years you will be missed. Um, it's the penultimate show done and dusted. We're back tomorrow with the finale and Rylan will have the celebrity Big Brother after show party. See you tomorrow in the night. <laughs>